सो ही वॉट्स अप गजन पे सी डी ईयर एंड वेलकम बैक एन अदर एक्साइटेड एलमेन थ्री डी टूटोरियल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिक्रिएट दिस मूवी टाइटल कॉल मेंटल ओरियन एंड नाउ दिस गोन बी स्ट्रीमिंग ऑन अक्टूबर थर्टी द न्यू सीजन कमिंग अप आई डाउनलोडेड दिस लोगो फ्रॉम गूगल नाउ लेट्स मेक अ न्यू कॉम नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी बाई टेन एटी लेट्स ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप योर लोगो हीयर एंड लेट्स रीन एम टू द लोगो लेट्स डुप्लीकेट दिस लोगो कॉम्पोजिशन एंड रीन एम टू द टेक्सचर सो दैट वी विल यूज द सेम लोगो एज अ टेक्सचर ऑल्सो नाउ लेट्स कट दिस लोगो सो दैट वी कैन क्रिएट अल्फा सो आई विल अप्लाई लूमा की एंड आई विल ट्राई टू cut this logo and i will change the key type to the dissimilar and i will increase the tolerance and try to you know just highlight the this uh, title and this is pretty much it now let's uh, add some mask and subtract them so that we can remove these patches which are available on the logo and make the logo clean once everything is good you can apply a invert effect let's make a new composition and call it main comp and let's drag your logo to the here this main comp and let's uh, go to the layer auto trace and create this is the my settings and let's hit okay and it will create mask let's select this mask and try to hide this white mask i will uh, facing is so i will just go back to the logo comp i will select the logo and hide the invert effect and now i will select this white layer mask and i will delete it one by one so now we have our clear logo now let's create a new solid layer and let's apply element 3d effect let's go to the custom layer custom text and mask and choose the mask logo and go to the scene setup and click on the extrude button now i will create three copies of this text first i will make the text selection to extreme so that i will not face any issues on the edges i will also reduce i mean optimize mesh and now i will down the extrusion for uh, the main layer which i will use for the logo and texture and i will try to uh, i mean i will make the three copies of this extrusion one for the one for the texture one for the extrusion and one for the bevel and one everything is ready hit okay and uh, here is it now let's drag and drop the texture logo texture comp in the main comp let's select the element 3d layer and go to the custom texture map choose the texture and i will go to the scene setup and i will select the first logo material and i will go to the diffuse section and i will load the texture and for fixing this i will go to the uv mapping and i will change change it to the uv now select the material again go to the illumination and use diffuse color and increase the intensity increase the intensity hide the grid it's good pretty good now let's select some pro shaders material and try to you know match the extrusion and the bevel color according to the real logo which we seen in the movie title i mean which we seen in the trailer and this is good now let's work for the animation i will try to hide the star wars logo because in the original example this comes later so i will select and i will delete the mask and for updating i will go inside the scene setup one time and it will be update let's add some environment map let's create a new camera i am using 50 mm i will add a simple camera animation so i will add a and p shift a and p and go to the very end of the video i will zoom in and this is pretty much it now let's work on the texture animation so i will go to the texture comp i will create a new solid this is going to be our control for the animation i will create a mask and i will animate that mask path now let's scale it i will select the layer and i will press m and i will subtract the mask and this is pretty much it now it is re revealing the logo and here you can see it's good now you, you can also increase the feather if you want little more i 
I will go to the render settings and I will increase the gamma and reduce the exposure. I will also increase the lightning influence amount to something around 80. Now let's create a new light and this is gonna be a point light. I will use that light for the back light as a back light. I'll go to the top view and arrange the light position. I can also change the color of light. Let's create uh, I think one more light. This is gonna be our spotlight and this I will use for the front revealing. So I will add a keyframe on the opacity I mean intensity of the light from 0 to 100. And then I will also add the keyframe on the cone angle so it will reveal, reveal from very uh, few area to a very wide area. I will also make them easy ease in. And this is a pretty much looking good. I will use the main logo to cut the Star Wars logo and I will animate them according the main trailer logo. I will use linear wipe to animating them and making the Star Wars logo. I will go inside the scene setup again and I will try to decrease the extrusion amount. It's good. So let's add the smoke which I made using Trefcord form. I will not show you the all the steps but I created with Trefcord form uh, with the fluid system. It's a very good and I use vector blur to make them little bit blurry. Here you can see and then I rendered this as a PNG sequence so that I can import that without uh, import that and use it without any lagging and now I can just scale down and you know I can just position rotation I, I, I will rotate and give them a right position and I will duplicate the copy and I will do the same for the right side as well as and I will use a tint, tint effect to make the smoke color Pretty much similar with the logo color. I will add exposure to bright it little bit more. I will use one more copy and I will put that smoke below element 3D layer. And you know everything is tweaking the steps of tweaking and getting the final look. And this is the preview amazing the smoke is revealing everything and the smoke is looking pretty good you can down the smoke i mean opacity if you want so let's move further let's add the text called new season streaming october 30 as like we seen on the trailer and i use full color gradient to colorize them and i use the opacity keyframe to reveal the this title lower third I mean lower title and amazing looking perfect for me and I know this is little bit different from the original one but you know I am trying to make them as much similar but in the end I thought let's change it little bit so I change the smoke type and you can down the smoke opacity if you want for smoothing the uh, text I mean the main title is, is I am using the sampling options in the render setting and output and you can also add a ambient occlusion I am going to use a ray traced ambient occlusion to make my scene little bit more good and here I am using few of the settings which I personally like and which fits in this scene. Let's take a preview. Wow, amazing. I am enjoy. By the way, you can download this project project file on my Patreon page. And if you are a member of YouTube Zwine, I mean YouTube and PS3D Pro, you can download this. 
and you know thanks for supporting me and let me uh, do some experiment which i love most let's lock this composition and open the texture composition in the right side and make them in another window and let's select this main logo and duplicate this so that we have a separate you know backup select any logo which i mean any image i downloaded all this from you know just position it scale down it and in the right left side you can see what's going on there are few more images which which i use for experiment and i'm using motion tile to you know just help to get the perfect shot inside the logo and uh, yeah amazing so these are many different example which you can use and i'm going to use this one and let me show you how what you can do more to make the whole scene look similar to the main logo i'll go back to the main comp and i will go to the element 3d scene setup if you are new here hit the subscribe button now if you are loving this tutorial hit the like button and please share support and share your feedback i will i will change the extrusion color and i will change the bevel color as well as and in the main comp i will just change the new season streaming october 30 color also to the similar of main logo and i will change the star wars logo also and i will change the smoke color also and this is pretty much it let's check the preview wow the only thing needed is sound design amazing the only problem i am seeing right now the star wars logo has some black background so let me remove that i will use luma q to remove it so thanks for watching this tutorial till the end and thanks for your love thanks for your support and thanks for the patreon members thanks for the youtube pro members and i hope you are enjoying my services and thanks a lot for your love your support this is it guys and we will see you next time with another great excited element 3d tutorial and please share your feedback and don't forget to subscribe it means a lot for me